<clears throat> hey guys, Game Lushel here, and I'm gonna be playing a little bit of Neo Scavenger. Hmm, that's awkward. Uh, now I know I haven't really done like lots of games and all that better, but uh, I really want to get more back into it because I I really like this game. I won't lie, I really like this game. I've I've played this game so many times by now, and um, I haven't really seen anybody play it, but um, it's kind of like a survival game that uses a hex core to move, and you have different turns, and you have to moderate your hunger, thirst, how much you rest, all the stuff you have on you, your comfortability, your temperature, how hurt you get. So, uh, I'm gonna make my character have abilities kind of like me. So, uh, first off, I'm gonna have to take that because I'm blind, mother. Uh, yep. <laughs> yep, alright. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I'm horrible at hiding. Uh, I recently started actually getting good with um, plants and stuff like that. Of course, I don't remember a lot about them, so I'm not going to put it there. Alright, let's see here. Uh, honestly, those are the only four things that really describe me. Uh, well, it's well as my chosen flaws, but um, actually, yeah, I do heal a lot faster than I should. And, uh, the game starts off like this. You wake up distorted, slumped over the base of an empty cryo-sleep pod, still damp from cryo-fluid. The thick dust from the floor clings to your skin, leaving a clean spot on the ground where a large zero-five is painted. Across the room, there is an open door to the hallway and a broken window leading outside. Just as you gather your wits, an, earth an earthly scream erupts from down the hall. Beyond the doorway, something is coming fast. And, uh, all your options appear over here, and when you pick an option, it goes over there, and you press confirm to do it. So, uh, I could dump somebody else out, I could rig the door to stay shut, or I could go fight it. Um, whatever it is, it sounds ungodly. Using a common maintenance override code, you switch the door controls into maintenance mode, forcing the door closed and locked. The creature howls madly, slams into the door, and rams it a few times before its muffled sounds recede again. Oh, yep. I, uh, kept it out. Anyway, let's go look at the console. You check the console for any patient info and come across the records. Anathan Blubber... Committed 2012-11-11. Emergency contact. Angelia Blubber, 45 Campbell Street, Detroit. Mm. I don't know what that is, actually. I want to say Michigan. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> 48210. I know it's not. I know it's not. Billing info. Yeah. Same thing. Tank 5, Philip Kindred, which is us, as you guys probably can tell. Commit it, 2019-09-15. No data. Billing information, account number 20141117, Detroit Savings Bank. Ah, I have no emergency contacts. Thanks. Take number six, Lord Bink check, 
Committed, 2008, 1010, Emergency Contact, Mir and Mir LLP, 304 South Broadway, Detroit, 48226, Billing Information, uh, same thing. Alright, let's climb out of the window, let's climb out of the window. You decide to go outside to see if you can figure out what's, where you are. Avoiding the broken gas, you step out and... St Oh, you step out into the still and outside world, rustling some plants that have grown wild in the area. It's cool outside and dim. Probably morning. Distant report... Oh, what? Yeah, the distant report of a gun catches your attention. You crack your head listening, but it's over as quickly as it started. Obviously, you're not alone out here, though that doesn't necessarily comfort you. You're in the parking lot of grass... this place. Grass cryo facility, but everything looks disused and in disrepair. Plants have pushed their way through the pavement and over the facility, as you can see in this picture. First of all, nothing looks familiar. You don't remember this place or even who you are. Well, we have a wristband, which I'm going to show you guys. Your first question mounts, but you catch it and put it in check. Might as well take a look around. So, um, hunger, thirst, and all that mess. You can see that temperature is down now. And uh, I'm getting colder as I stand around here. Uh, this is how the mini-map looks and everything. There I am, my little outfit, my hospital gown. Then also I have this wrist thing, which tells me my name. I also have a medallion, which I never did understand what the reason for that is. But, uh, yeah, so I have my main inventory and what's on the ground. I have my... Uh, medical view of my body. I have the campsite view, so this is where I'm currently camping. I can put down stuff here, and it won't show up here. And then, if I ever get a car, which I never will, uh, I'll look at <coughs> the status of the stuff here. I'm still a bit sick. It also tells you uh, conditions of your body. So right now, I'm barefoot. And I have camp benefits. Over here you can see your skills. And over here is where you can craft. Uh, not really much I can craft, actually. I never tried this before. Oh, yep, I can create a shiv using those things. All right. I was just curious. There's a lot of things you can craft. By uh, mixing and changing everything. Oh, whoops. I guess I better. Ah, well. Anyway, you can scavenge areas like how I'm, um, how I'm gonna scavenge this place. I found something. Found a medical kit. So, just gonna equip it to my hand and carry it around with me. <sighs> An empty bottle of painkillers. Thanks, game. <sighs> Get enough. But, uh, you can... Yeah, like I said, it has a turn basis. You get your turns over here. Oh, minus one for barefoot. Okay. Uh, you can run. It gives you a time to run. I don't... Yeah. You can hide in case, like, other players or... Well, I shouldn't say other players. The AI computers, the different dogs, dogmen, the different beasts... All sorts come after you. You can hide. You can hide your tracks if somebody is following you, and you can spy on a creature or a hex to see if anybody's there. But for the most part, you're practically good in the beginning. <laughs> Except a couple of times when I played this. As you approach the town, there is no sign of activity. Buildings stand in ruin. Viticles are overturned and blackened with fire. Explosion marks radiate outward from walls and pavement. And the distant, strange-looking creatures circle in the sky like monstrous, leathery vultures. The world has drastically changed from what you knew. Some sort of cataclysm has befallen Earth, returning mankind to the Dark Ages. And along with it, your hopes of finding a warm and warm meal and some answers. You decide to look around scavenge what you can from the ruins. Now, scavenging is a very big part of this game. Because, my goodness, 
scavenging is the only way you will survive. Unless you are good enough to kill a lot of creatures, carry a lot of meat on you, as what I hope it's not locked. Okay. Please something? Nope. Alright. Uh, the chances of finding something... Ah, oh, jeez. I don't know. Ah, well, crap. Uh, actually, that's not... I don't have anything. I'm trying to get away from this stupid thing. <sighs> but yeah, as you guys can see, the combat system is different than anything else. Alright, and if I come over here, you can see everywhere where I've been injured. Sorry I didn't read the text to you guys, but I really did not want to fight that feral dog. This game is very hard. Like, harder than it should be. And sometimes I hate it for it. Oh, there's water... Berries. Red berries are usually bad, as I've learned. Whoops. Oh, there's a broken bottle. Eh, I'll use it. And, uh, since I have a weapon now, I can show you. Here's where you change what you use in battle. So far, I've been using my fist, which is impractical unless fighting a human. Uh, I have moderate hypothermia now, so, yeah. I need a sleeping bag. Screen. What are you? I can't see. Uh, fancy ketchup. What happens if I use this? Oh, this is sake to my hunger. Alright, well. <laughs> put a little ketchup in there. Uh, I might as well just put some shards in there. Because why not? I'm curious. What if I combine these two things? Nothing? Alright. I'm just curious. What about this? Oh! Oh! Really? A sling, huh? I probably need something wooden for that. What if I take that? Yep. Probably need something wooden. Oh. Oh yeah. You, you have you have you know a bunch of recipes already, but there are a lot of recipes that you don't know, <laughs> like how to make a code and other stuff like that. Oh, whoops, didn't mean to do that. <sighs> there we go. At least I'm in a warmer area. Nothing useful. As usual. Ah, lower chest was bruised. A 
What's my blood looking? Okay. Pain tolerance keeps going down. Isn't this painkill? No, this is antibiotics, actually. Just gotta use that real quick. Abandoned car! Take a sleeping bag! Ah! It's a big one. Huh. <gasps> Team! No, I can't do anything about that deer. I guess I better remember this. This will be my camp for now.